I S U P K. Hey, Shalom Israel, give that brother a hand, man. That brother spoke, spoke powerful in the spirit. And why? Because he loves blacks, Hispanics, and Native Indians, man. The only people that receives no love on this earth, man, especially in America, man. Killed in the streets, man. Treated unjustly, man. You understand? The black, Hispanic, and Native Indian, man, gets absolutely no justice in this country, man. And why, man? Because of the oppressor. You understand? The oppressor sees to that he's uh, that we receive no justice man you understand why does a cop feel that he can pull out his gun and kill blacks and hispanics because he know he won't be charged for it man you understand theoretically it is legal to kill blacks and hispanics and native indians in america you understand why because these are your slaves you understand? This is the greatest country on earth, man. You understand? From sea to shining sea. All right? Look, man, D Detroit is predominantly a black and Hispanic city. Yet and still, look who is enjoying the benefits of downtown Detroit. There are just a sprinkle of blacks and Hispanics people that I've seen down here today, man. Why? Because this is your kingdom, man. You understand? Give me Revelations 11 and 8. You understand? This is your kingdom, so-called Caucasian man. Live it up. You understand? Because you have yet a little time left. Go skydiving, swimming with the sharks, you know, riding a scooter. Do everything you love because your time is almost up, man. Revelations 11 and 8, man. Let's see. Get it. Revelations chapter 11, verse 8. Read. Their dead bodies shall lie in the street of the great city. Their dead bodies shall lie in the street. This is the book of Revelations, man. The book to reveal what's, go what's to come, man. Who are the dead bodies that lay in the street, man? Blacks, Hispanics, and Native Indians, man. You understand? We? Which is spiritually called Sodom and Egypt. Which is spiritually called what? Sodom and Egypt. Spiritually called Sodom and Egypt. Why? Because you want to be Bruce Jenner, black man. You understand? You want to be a homosexual, a lesbian, you understand? Which is not of the most high, man. That is a disgusting, filthy ha habit of these other nations, man. If you are black, Hispanic, or Native Indian, you are not allowed to be a homosexual, man. You understand? If you do, you will receive the judgment from your God, man. Yahweh is his name in the Hebrew. Right. Read it again. Verse 8. And their dead bodies shall lie in the street of that great city, which spiritually is called... Which is spiritually called, man. They're spiritually dead, man. Blacks and Hispanics and Native Indians do not know their nationality, man. They do not know who they are. They do not know who owns them. You understand? They think the so-called Caucasian owns him, man. You understand? We... Which is spiritually called Sodom and Egypt. Spiritually called Sodom, man. The home of homosexuality, man. Where Black Lives Matter, do we have to even talk about the purpose and the goal of Black Lives Matter, man? Are you stupid, man? How many times do we have to be used by these other nations, man? Black Lives Matter is a cover to push homosexuality, 
more transsexuals and pedophilia, man. Right. It has absolutely nothing to do with black people at all. You're just going to be used, as you always are, at the polls around um, election time and around when it comes time to push an agenda. Stop being dumb and stupid, black, Hispanic, and Native Indian, man. Right. You understand? Get out of that nonsense, out of that mess, out of that Black Lives Matter, which right. is headed by what, man? A bunch of lesbians, man. Right. So they can get more gay rights as if they didn't have them already. Right. Who gives a damn who you sleep with, man? You understand? We don't give a damn about it. But if you are black or Hispanic or Native Indian, we are here to warn you that your God is going to kill you. You understand? Homosexuality, is, will, AIDS will be the result of homosexuality. You understand? That is why it's predominantly killing blacks, Hispanics, and Native Indians. You understand? It ain't killing a white man. That's his culture. Since Alexander the Geek or whatever, you understand? Alexander the Greek was a so-called homosexual. History says that. Right. The Romans were homosexuals, man. That's the type of stuff they did around Christmas. Right. You understand? Sexual deviancy. Right. You understand, man? And America is built on that, man. This place is spiritually called Sodom. And what else? And Egypt. And what? Egypt. See that, man? America is spiritually Egypt. Why, man? Because you oppress a people, man. Not just any people. You oppress God's people, man. That's right. You white people claim the Bible's yours. You claim you wrote it. Yet and still, you don't see the blueprint in here that you're doing the exact same thing Pharaoh did. Right. You oppress the exact same people Pharaoh did, and you don't even think about the end result, man. Right. You understand? Understand? Pharaoh got his in the end. You understand? Who's the modern day Pharaoh today? Donald Trump, man. And listen, do we even got to talk about the fact that he hates blacks and Hispanics and Native Indians? It's, it's pretty known by now, man. You're so damn proud. You're so damn proud of the destruction that you've caused on these people, man. But again, look at the great city you've built, man. You built it by killing all the Native American Indians, man. You're walking on their bones right now. Hispanics, you stole all their land, man. All the Mexicans, man. Right. Killing them as well. And blacks, of course, you brought them over here in chains, man. And established um, financial wealth, man, of free labor. And you don't think you have to pay for it. Well, guess what? Pharaoh didn't think he had to pay for it either. And we all know what happened to Pharaoh. Look at Egypt today, man. Egypt is dust. You understand? You, you go over there for pyramids only. The people don't even live over there anymore, man. You understand? Arabs now occupy Egypt to this day, man. The Lord ensured that when he destroyed Pharaoh, he destroyed Egypt along with it. You understand? Give me Deuteronomy 17 and 12. You understand? I guess Joe Biden should be the alternative choice for black people, right? I mean, he loves us, right? Man, you simple, man. You understand? You are not allowed to vote if you are black, Hispanic, or Native Indian, man. Let the, these other heathens have their election, man. Let them have their, you know, uh, election, okay? You have nothing to do with it, so you're not complacent when the destruction comes. Right. You understand? So when they vote Donald Trump back in again, you can say, you know what? I had nothing to do with it. When they vote... Joe Biden in, and he does the exact same thing Donald Trump does. At least Donald Trump tell you to your face that he hates you. Joe Biden, he pretends that, oh, he's changed, right? He's been in, a, he's had his political career for over 40 years, man. What has he done to help black people? Don't be dumb, man. You understand? Give me that. God, want God. When the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 17, verse 12. See? And the man that will do presumptuously and will not hearken unto the priest that standeth to minister there before the most high thy power, or unto the judge, even that man shall die. See that man? That's what we're, why we're out here, man. We love you enough to spend our day of rest to wake 
you the hell up, man. That's right. In hopes that you will listen to us, man, so that the Lord does not kill you. The Lord, the God of the Christian church is not the same God in this Bible, man. That's, That's right. what we've been trying to tell you for years, man, since 1969. The God of the Bible, he teaches you by killing you, man. He is not, Christ is not coming back to kiss you, skip through a, a field of roses, and uh, with a, a rose in his teeth, man. Right. Where the hell is that in here? It's not, man. But we do know the God that kills Egyptians by the thousands. Right. We do know the God that kills the Ishmaelites, the so-called Arabs, by the millions. Right. We do know the so-called God of the Bible who kills Grecians, Romans, Europeans. It's in here. It's in the Bible. You're not reading it because all you know is John 3.16. Look how thick this book is. This book is thicker than John 3.16, which you don't even understand that, man. Right. You understand? The Lord has set his love only on one people, man. Read on. Go to what God. And thou shall be put away. Slack it. And thou shalt put away the evil from Israel. Listen, man, that's how the Lord gets rid of you, man. He gives you a grace period. If you are in the nation of Israel, if you are a black, Hispanic, or native Indian, if you are, and you're a preacher, a Christian preacher, pedophile, the Lord puts you away by killing you, man. That's right. You understand? You're going to get caught up in that scandal of that homosexual sex you're having. You understand? It happens all the time. You're going to get caught up in that fiscal um, uh, scheme. You understand? Read. God, what God. And all the people shall hear and fear and do no more presumptuously. And so you have to be used as an example, man. Go out there and vote if you want to, man. Go ahead and vote, man. We seen what happened. You, listen, Barack Obama should have been good therapy for black, Hispanic, and Native Indian people, man. That should have been good therapy on if voting is the solution to get you off this hell, man. You understand? Read. Go to Wakan, verse 14. When thou art come unto the land mm -hmm. which the, the Most High, thy power giveth thee. So wherever black, Hispanics, and Native Indian people reside, read and shall possess it, mm -hmm. and shall dwell therein, mm -hmm. and shall say, I will set a king over me. We are gonna, We need to have a righteous leadership. Yeah, you damn right we should have a leader over us. It shouldn't be Joe Biden. Right. It shouldn't be Donald Trump. Read. Like as all the nations that are about me. You see that? Just how the white man has his champion, Donald Trump. Listen, Donald Trump absolutely loves white people. He loves his people, man. You understand? And if he has to kill a couple blacks, Hispanics, or Native Indians to prove it, he's going to do it. You understand? I have absolutely no doubt Donald Trump loves his people and his country. Read. Got him a gun. And shall say, like it. Thou shalt any wise set him king over thee. See that man? White people are smart enough not to set somebody over them that is not their people. You understand? That whole science experiment with Barack Obama woke them the hell up, man. And they chose a champion that would serve them, that would have their interests, that would hate the people they hate. Read. God of what God. I will set a king over me like as all the nations that are about me. Mm -hmm. Thou shalt any wise set him king over thee, whom the Lord thy God shall choose. So if you're wise, you're going to have a leader over you. In our case, we can't just choose any goddamn body, man. You understand? We definitely should not choose a Christian preacher like Martin Luther King. We'll be back in slavery before you know it if we do. We damn sure shouldn't choose any Christian preacher, man. You understand? We'll be dead next year if we do. Read. But who should we choose? One from among the brethren. We should choose one that's like us. One from among your brethren, like the so-called white man did. He chose Donald Trump. 
All right, so now you has to choose someone like you. Read, what's the other characteristic? Shall thou set king over thee? Mm -hmm. Thou mayest not set a stranger. Hold up, thou shall what? Not set a stranger. You are not allowed to set a stranger over you. Read, over thee, which is not thy brother. Come on, man. That's the Bible right here, King James, man. You understand? The Bible's telling blacks, Hispanics, and Native Indians not to set anyone over them who is not their people, man. My whole life was trying to find something to follow. Hand loyalty, every man tried to borrow. Felt pain and a lot of sorrow got betrayed. So packed, I didn't even have my heart broke. Living confused, about to lose hope. Cops got me on the side of the road like a sideshow. Need an antidote before I croak. Now I'm setting fire to rhythm man blues. Call this guitar smoke. Rebel with no cause, trying to find direction. The world got me vexed. Picked up a bad lick of habit that's already turned from oppression. Felt like my life was on fire, trying to find an exit. Now look, 10 G's plus a good wreck. Sometimes a follower is a soldier, trying to find a good ship. Plus, when you in hell, how do you excel? Wisdom, the breath of life, I don't believe in fairy tale. Listen well to what I tell. No calling can cause pain. Something that a rebel knows very well. Can't you tell I was sent from the Lord? 